Thank you very much. Yeah, makeup is such a weird thing. It's such a random concept, isn't it? Like, I'll, I'll get up in the morning, uh, go into the bathroom, look in the mirror. Gee, uh, I don't look so good. Maybe if my eyelids were blue, I'd be more attractive. <laughs> Where the hell did that come from? All right, I'm doing it. You know, it's like, I, I got this email recently. It was a, an offer for permanent makeup. Permanent makeup. I mean, how lazy do you have to be? <laughs> what is it, one day you're putting on your makeup, it's like, oh, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> Where's that 800 number? Yeah, I need the permanent makeup. Sure, I'll sign the waiver. I don't care if I end up looking like Krusty the Clown. I'm not doing this one more day. <laughs> you know, it's, we don't want to look, women don't want to look like toucans. That's not what we're going for. We, all, all of us, men, women, we just want to look younger. But we can't because of gravity. It's ruined everything. That's why I keep a mirror by my front door to make sure that I look presentable when I leave the house. So I was leaving recently and I, and I looked in the mirror and I uh, saw something on my neck. So I leaned in a little more closely to see what it was and it was my neck. <laughs> my neck was hanging from my neck. How depressing is that? But I'm not getting plastic surgery, no, I'm not going down that rabbit hole. The most I am willing to do is to hold my upper arm flaps back with chip clips. Because <laughs> I don't want to hurt anyone, but I'm waving goodbye. <laughs> yeah, my skin is really losing its elasticity now. Oh, man, I, I took a nap on a corduroy bedspread. <laughs> it took six hours for the lines to come out of my face. <laughs> I have gray hair, I've had gray hair for several years now, and I really love it. I love having a lot of people here with gray hair, yes? I love it, it's so easy, it's such low maintenance, and I'll tell you something else, I get a lot more looks from guys now that my hair is gray. I do, and I think I know why. I think it's because they think I can't get pregnant. <laughs> so uh, I'm a mom, uh, several years ago we adopted a little girl from China. And thank you. And uh, even though I adopted, I still got the epidural. <laughs> oh, yeah. I wasn't getting cheated out of that. I tried getting pregnant. I was about 45 at the time, and my doctor was a little concerned about my age. So she ran a lot of tests, and uh, she called me into her office. She sits me down. She looks at me very seriously, and she says, Kathy, your eggs are old. I said, gee, well, uh, so is your diploma, but I'm being polite. <laughs> Yes, I am 66, and I'm raising an 18-year-old. I am past menopause, raising a college freshman. Excellent planning. I'm a member of the PTAARP. 66 and 18 were such completely different stages of our lives. I remember when she was finished toilet training, I was losing bladder control. One day, she asked me to blow up a balloon and had to change my pants. <laughs> I wish, I'm an older mom, yes. I, was a, I became a mom at 48, and I'm, I'm gonna try to describe to you how exhausting it was for me when my daughter was a toddler. I had to get a colonoscopy. And I checked into the hospital, and I laid down on the bed, and my very first thought was, oh, this is so relaxing. <laughs> My daughter's 18, boy, oh boy. She hates me, so she's uh, right on track developmentally. <laughs> she did very well as a senior in high school. She was captain of the JV eye-rolling team. <laughs> the only thing she likes to do with me is go to Costco. I love Costco, but it, it doesn't even make sense for me to go there anymore because there's nothing I can buy there that I'll live to finish. <laughs> I can't use that many Q-tips. Every time I'm there with my daughter and we're leaving, I always point to the cart and I look at her and I say, someday this will all be yours. <laughs> Thank you so much. You've been a great audience. Kathy Landman. Thank you. Kathy